Greetings and welcome to another video moment. <clears throat> We're just spawning them like crazy today. This is the second video moment I did. The first one, I did a video moment with the... Uh, what did I do? Oh, and I recorded it with the iPod Touch. And that was for my series in which I, which was the fifth day of doing one each day of various devices for getting information, getting video into your computer, either your Mac, the Mac into the new version of iMovie, or the PC into uh, Windows Movie Maker. So anyway, now I'm just recording a video moment, but I'm doing a slight different wrinkle. I am sitting here with the MacBook Pro 15 in my lap and attached to the MacBook Pro 15 is a Lossy 1000 hard drive, external drive. And this is the drive I use to, with the help of Super Duper, I copied the contents of this computer onto that hard drive and then booted from that hard drive and wiped out the hard drive on this computer, uh, erased it. In that way, I retained, got, got back its full 250 gigabytes capability, but I was reduced, I was down to 169 gigabytes of capacity on this, uh, on this drive, on this internal drive of this computer because of uh, problems with boot camp. I got in trouble, I don't know, virus or whatever, boot camp, and I tried to erase it. I ended up with, well, I got it so it wouldn't, couldn't use Windows, but it had reduced, it hadn't returned the partition, you might say, back to the main computer. Now it was. Then I turned around and with Super Duper again and copied the operating system back on this program and then everything was fine and dandy and I used it. However, as with all my computers, I'm always running out of room. Like right now on the hard drive of this computer, I have 10 gigabytes of free space. Well, that's ridiculous. I have almost 500 gigabytes of free space on the La C1000. So I thought, why not just for a while, just to see how it works, use the boot with the uh, La C1000 and then uh, see what happens. And of course, I can shut it down, unplug the La C1000. No, wait a second. I better change the the startup drive first. Huh. That's an interesting thought. Yeah. Before I do that, I better change the startup drive back to this, back to the internal drive, and then unplug the, uh, the La C1000, go about my merry way if I don't want to haul that around with me. Okay. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do today, and that's, that's what I'm doing to create this particular uh, video moment. I'm I'm recording this. Uh, when I started up Final Cut Pro, it showed me um, Final Cut, not Final Cut Pro. Yeah, Final Cut Pro. When I started up Final Cut Pro, it showed me under, on, in the uh, upper left-hand corner, it showed the, the new events which I had saved on this, on this drive. See what I typically will do if I have to create them on the other drive, then I copy them over onto the external drive. So I thought, well, why not just run your run your computer from the external drive and then it has lots of room until that, until that, uh, uh, until that disk fills up. And then I can get another one, I suppose, and copy the system over onto that and run from there. Okay. Well, anyway, I am you. I am. I guess I never mentioned this. I'm using the iSight camera on the 
MacBook Pro 15, but I really should call it the MacBook Pro La C1000, because <laughs> that's where it's coming from. Anyway, um, now we'll see if uh, this worked and see if we get a video moment out of this. Uh, and then I can go ahead and do all my other usual things. I do well. Actually, now I well, should I keep it? Yeah, there's no problem. I should keep it on this drive, you might say, and then with iMovie import the video from the the iPod Touch to make up that that video, and then put it in the theater. And then it's available on all of my iOS devices and related computers, which will be the La C1000 because it's the same operating system, right? So there you have it. Well, anyway, I will see you later and tell you how everything turned out. Bye.